Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. Chris Dennis here, putting specialist and short game performance coach. So today I'm bringing you a video that I've been trying to bring you for the last three weeks and I did say in one video I was going to do this but every time I've tried to come out and film it, it started to rain. So unfortunately I can't do this inside so we're bringing you today the elevated string line. So it's one of the training aids I use quite a lot in setups when people are practicing putting. So obviously a lot of people like yourselves probably will get bored when you're putting start to think oh I'll just knock it around hold a few putts and that's it so this is something that really helps you identify potential problems with your stroke it also gives you a lot of feedback and the more feedback that we can give ourselves the quicker we can improve you know the more putts we can hold and potentially the less lessons you're going to need to have so you should be able to monitor your stroke and that's all we want to do again as a coach all I'd want to see is that you can monitor your strokes if you're out on the golf course if you miss a first few ports on the first couple of holes you can correct yourself you can figure out what you're doing wrong and from there you can change that and then not have one of those days that you have 40 ports and you're like here we go again so you can see here the string sits around about six seven inches off the ground I've set this up on an eight foot pot so the string only reaches that far but again we don't want it we're not going to have it over something that's 20 feet we're going to have it on an eight foot pull so all i'm going to do from there is that i'm going to come in put the ball underneath now we're going to look at the first thing that it's going to do for us so when we set up to the ball again i like to see my eyes just inside the ball so if my eyes were over the ball we would cover the line on the ball and the line on the back of the putter if i'm now just a little bit inside as i want to it set up because that's that's where I know that I put the best. I should see the line on the ball and the line on the back of my putter just inside that rope. So a lot of times with amateurs, I see them that they're too far over the ball and their eyes are outside the line. So if you're somebody who sets up to this and you can see the line on your putter and the ball outside of the string, you know we want to get that a little bit, either get you a little bit taller so your eyes are over the ball or a little bit further away so they come on the inside. Then from here, hit the first putt. Make sure that the string's obviously far enough back that you're not hitting with that on your backstroke and you're not forcing a stroke. So again, I'm a long way forwards here for this putt. And again, the key thing is to make sure you set it up on a straight putt. So that's slightly left to right. So again, with it in behind the hole, I can still move this to guarantee that that is straight. And then again come in set that up again make sure I can see the lines just inside the string and then hit the put so make sure that's up on a straight so hit a few puts to start with to make sure that obviously that ball is going in but I can see I'm starting the ball on the line and I can see that the ball is rolling well so my feedback there is straight away if I was starting to see the ball not rolling good I'd know that this was you know, it wasn't this how it was set up, it may be my stroke, but the ball's rolling well and it's starting online. The second thing it works on is obviously your start line, so you're able to see if that ball's starting straight under the string and it's not deviating off. If you start to see it deviating off, you'll start to see that your putting stroke is probably working either in to out, or across the ball on the way through and then also we won't see a good roll so the third thing that this helps out with so if I line this up now is obviously I get a lot of people come for putting lessons and a lot of them have tilting motions on the way back and tilting motions on the way through so you'll see there if I make a stroke where I tilt I'm going to catch the string on the way through on both directions and that's your feedback that your head is moving so from there obviously a quick drill that we could do is it try and balance on one foot or bring your right foot back and then hit some putts where your head's now not moving and you'll see that we'll get a centered strike and we should start to hold more putts so from there the feedback we see that if we're lifting we know that our motion is tilting and from there we can drop into a quick drill and we can make sure we start to hold some more putts so it's helping us with numerous different things so obviously now what i'm going to show you if it's down the line how that's going to show us if our stroke if it's going into out or out to in and how that's going to show up with the rope
So here we have a braking put. So I've got a right to left put here. So if you struggle on right to left, so if you struggle on left to right, you can pick which one you want to do. So same again, I'm gonna line this ball up. So that's the point that I've picked at the hole where my reed is. And then from there, obviously it's going to break off there and hopefully go into the hole. So what I find with a lot of amateurs is obviously they will practice a lot of straight puts. They've seen everybody, they find a straight put, they hit a hundred puts, right, I'm putting well but they don't practice breaking putts. So what we can do, we can use this string line to help us with our breaking putts. So we can start to see why you might be struggling on a right to left or a left to right. So it's helping us with our start line. We can make sure our setup's good. So for me, my eyes are just inside the string. And then from there, we can hit this putt. And if I hold my finish, I can break down exactly now why that's missed. So you could see on there, hopefully, that the ball rolled perfectly but again what I want to base my putts on is one foot past the hole so we can see there the only thing that I did it was a little bit overpaced so a little bit less pace that's bang in the middle of the hole start to see probably more putts lowering the handicap so one of the things I see with amateurs on breaking putts is sometimes they might not aim high enough you stand over the ball you're not sure because your setup's a little bit off and then they'll try and guide that into the hole and the stroke will start to move out to the right. So if you are somebody who does that, you will see that clearly with this string line. So obviously the mirror is a good training aid for setup, for getting your eyes just inside the ball or over the ball. But this is now giving us feedback on our stroke, which obviously then we can relate to what the ball has done. So if the spin's off, we can work out why. Obviously with a mirror, we can see that our setup's good, but if the ball goes off, we don't know why, because we've got no feedback with the stroke. So here, you're ticking a lot more boxes. So it's something that you can get online, you can get it on Amazon. So I will try and put a link in the description. From here, I can get set up. Eyes just inside. Better pace, and you can hold that pull. So you can do this on a right to left, left to right, and on a straight. But you're starting to then work on your stroke. You're starting to tick a lot of boxes. You're starting to be more consistent. And as we know, that's going to help you hold more pulls. Like I've said before, I wouldn't hit too many, so I've hit three shots there, and I hit three shots on the straight one. Then what I would do is I'd work around the hole hitting random pulls, so we don't want to be stationary for too long and being obsessed and trying to guide things in. So we want to make your practice as much like on the golf course as possible, so doing some repetitions and making sure your setup is correct, and then do random pulls like you would get on the golf course. So some short pulls, some longer pulls, and then again you can always come back and hit three puts here, reset, make sure your setup's good and go from there. Guys, thanks for watching. So I'll see you again tomorrow where we'll be talking some wedges. As for now guys, have a good day and I'll see you then.